If you want more to come into your life, you must let more life come out of you. Because life doesn't happen to you, it happens through and as you. You can't get it from the world because you brought it all with you. Literally, everything you could ever need to be all that you were created to be is already within you. A seed of infinite potential planted in the soil of your soul, awaiting the right conditions for it to grow. And those conditions are 100% in your control. This is the core of emergence, and when you understand and apply this, you can truly say Happy New Year and Happy New Year, year after year. But not just every year, every month, every week, and every day. My name is Derek Rydell, transformational coach and emergeneer, and I want to welcome you to the Best Year of Your Life podcast, where we highlight the top teachings and trainings from my private group program that have helped thousands of people around the world find their path, live their purpose, and make a mighty impact on the planet. To learn more about the Best Year of Your Life program and get a special bonus, please go to www.DerekRydell.com forward slash Best Year of Your Life. I want to welcome you. Good morning. Good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be, or if you're living in the timeless, I don't know, we have to come up with a new salutation. It's not night, it's not morning, it's not evening, it's a good something. Maybe one of you can let me know. Um, So uh, it's just really great to be with you again, as always. I look so forward to being with you. And all the stuff that's just exploding in the Facebook private mastermind group, the the questions and the answers and the insights, you guys are really, really just rocking it. And I'm so inspired by all the love and the support and the insights and the breakthroughs that you're having and that you're creating an environment, a vortex of energy, a collective gathering, a collective agreement where two or three are gathered together in agreement in my name and nature, in the name and nature of the Christ of the divine intelligence, of this perfect pattern of infinite potential, when people come together and start agreeing upon higher possibilities, there I am in the midst of them, meaning there the greater power and potential, the great I am, the great perfect pattern starts to manifest and accelerate. So you're literally creating and building a morphic field in this group that is allowing for more successes to be happen more accelerated. You know, kind of like there was a time when nobody could break the four-minute mile, and then one person did it. They created a new morphic field. And suddenly that made somebody else start to believe it could be done, and then somebody else did it. And then pretty soon it was like a field, even though people may have not even known, known directly that it was possible, it started to be broken all over the place, and now high school kids break the four-minute mile. What used to seem physiologically impossible is now a regular occurrence. And so understand that what seems impossible right now, as you start to agree upon a higher possibility, and then little bit by little bit you start to have breakthroughs in those, you're creating a new morphic field where it's not only going to be possible in your own life, but others are going to start popping into that as well. And that's what's starting to happen in the group, and that's what will continue to happen, is it's this field where, you know, oh, it's not so impossible to have that kind of breakthrough. Look at they're having it. Look at they're having it. Suddenly that seems more real, and before you know it, you're having it. And it just keeps growing and accelerating. So it's just really awesome um, to see that happen, to watch that happening. And I, I just encourage you, if you're not in the Facebook group, to get in. And you can do that by just going, typing in Emergineering Group Coaching in your Facebook um, search bar, and then that will bring you to the group. It's a private group. You have to request entry, and then we will let you in. And you can start to mastermind and network and get support from each other. And, And know that also I'm going through the group, and I'm answering certain questions, and I'm doing a lot of prayer work around all of you to um, 
continue to support you and to create that field, that vibrational support field. And I know some of you are feeling that. And all of you can be more and more receptive to that. Just every day, as it comes to your mind, just lean into that field. Just imagine there's this energetic support. It's, it's what is meant in the Bible by the everlasting arms of God, that there is this energetic field of, of love and support that you can just start to lean into. And when you're feeling doubt, when you're not feeling faith, you can listen to a recording of me or listen to somebody's testimonial or read their description of their breakthrough and lean into that sense of possibility. I may not be believing it right now, but Derek sure sounds like he does. Or, you know, Bob or Julie or Tom or Susan. They sure, there's something in their resonance that I can lean into. And there's an authority there. And you can just rest in that, trust in that, and let that carry you until that vibration becomes embodied in you as well. You can also reach out, spiritually speaking, to this field and, and ask for prayer just energetically and know that you will receive it. So what I'm going to do today, there's so much I want to talk about, but I want to really answer questions. So to, add, to raise your hand, you hit five star, and that will raise your hand, and I'm going to start going through and answering your questions and helping you to have those breakthroughs. So you just hit five star. And, uh, you know, one of the things that has been coming through, I'm just going to throw it out there as a topic, and we'll, we'll, we'll discuss it as we go, is this statement, heart of gold, soul of steel. And it's basically this ability to have an open heart, to be all loving, unconditionally loving, spiritual, and have absolutely a backbone, have absolute strength and power, have a soul that is unshakable, that is unbreakable, that is unsinkable and unstoppable. And it's what I call heart of gold, soul of steel. And, or another word I use for it is soul stamina. And a lot of the work we're doing with the shadow work and all of this is about... <laughs> 